Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Welcome back to another planty video. Today I am coming at you with a cactus haul. So kind of something different because I am very new to the world of cactus and succulents. I have a few, as you guys know, I have a whole video on my cactus and succulent collection but I don't know a lot about them and about the different varieties. So this is just like a whole new world. I recently went to a nursery that I had really been wanting to visit, which is about an hour away from me. So we made the drive up there and it's called Valley Succulents if you live on Vancouver Island and it's all cactus and succulents. It's a specialty nursery. So that's very cool. The owner was really nice and yeah, it was a great experience. I honestly didn't know what most of the plants were, but um yeah there was tons it was like overwhelming but in a good way you know so i'm very excited i will be going back there in the spring and summer to check out what they have and you know just add to my collection but today i'm going to show you the five plants that i got also i'm literally filming with a moving box as my table so that's just where we're at right now you guys in my life <laughs> okay so let's start off with a really cool one so see if I can even get close enough to the camera. I might have to adjust my moving box situation here. Maybe let's do it like that, hey? Okay, so the first one that I got is this little guy right here. Now this caught my eye because it literally looks like corn. I was like, oh my gosh, that plant looks like corn. And then the owner, I'm assuming he's the owner, um, he was like, oh yeah, that's the, they call that the corn cob euphorbia actually. And I was like, oh what? Like that's so cool. And it's euphorbia, which I do like euphorbia and want to collect more. So immediately I was like, okay, I need to get this one. It's so cool. So I looked up the actual name of this one so I could share it with you guys. And this is called Euphorbia mammillaris variegata. So it is variegated. You can see like the white. It's just so cool. And this can grow up to about a foot from what I read online. And then it shoots out like little clusters of more of them. So you can have like a full pot of them, um, which is really cool. And these spikes coming out, they literally just like look like toothpicks. Like it's just so strange looking. Um, I'm really a fan. So I had to grab this one. And then next, let's talk about this guy. So he's a little bit like wonky. <laughs> he is kind of growing sideways, but you know, we like unique and interesting plants here. So um, yeah, we picked this one and it's a really cool looking cactus. Honestly, like pretty standard looking. Um, this is called Her Hericia Juiceberti, Juiceberti. Oh gosh, I like, you know, I'm pretty good with uh, aeroid names, but this is like <laughs> different. So <laughs> if I'm saying some of them wrong, then that's why, but that's what this guy looks like. He is a very deep green and then he ha his like clusters of spikes are very dark and he just has a really cool look to him. So, so yeah, I wanted to get just like, you know, a few different varieties just to try out. So I just picked the ones that caught my eye and I really like this guy. So we'll see how he does. Oh, and this is, um, from what I read online, this is a night bloomer. So this is going to get similar to my spiral cactus. Those like big white flowers that bloom in the night. So, oh my gosh, if any of you guys remember when that cactus bloomed, I thought I was gonna croak and then I went to bed and it was all done <laughs> by the time I woke up in the morning. <laughs> so if any of my cactus ever start blooming at night again, I'm honestly gonna like have to stay up or something. So <laughs> yeah, but very cool. Also, sorry if Sorry if the lighting is changing. I am just filming like underneath a window and the clouds are passing by. Okay, next let's talk about this weird little guy. So this, I have no idea what this is. It caught my eye because it's so strange looking. Um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see in this lighting, but the like bottom part has a purpley sheen and then the top is very green and it goes wider. So I don't know, it reminded me of E.T. Um, <laughs> it's just strange looking and I honestly have no idea what this is called. I um, There was like little things in some of them, but I totally forgot to like take a picture. 
um, to remember what it's called, but I remember it was something really long. I think it was a hybrid. I messaged them after and asked about the ID, but they left me on red. <laughs> So I didn't get a response, so I'm not sure. However, I did post this on my Instagram just a few minutes ago asking if anyone kn knew and nobody has responded yet. I feel like it's gonna be hard to find the ID of this, but good luck to me. If anybody knows, any cactus people out there, what is this guy? I really wanna know. Um, so yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea anything about him. Like, I guess we'll just see what happens. Um, but yeah, he was weird, so that's why I picked him up. And then next, I have another kind of kind of big, like decent sized guy here. Um, so this is a Trichocereus spachianus. Oh gosh, I don't know. I'm gonna obviously put all the names on the screen because I am useless here. But um, this, I believe, is also called the Golden Torch Cactus. See if it'll focus on it so you can see how pretty it is there we go look at that oh my gosh he is so pretty so as you can see he is that deep green as well but he has these like really golden spines all up him yeah he is just beautiful i honestly really really like the look of this one i think it might be one of my fave my new favorites my new cactus favorites but um, yeah, this is just like really cool and from what I saw online. I think that this also blooms white flowers um, I'm not sure but yeah, very cool. I really like this guy a lot It's just so pretty and I really love the golden vibes by the way If anyone has any information about any of these or any tips do you have any of them? Let me know um, like honestly anything facts about them. I'm just like so interested to learn more so leave that down below in the description Okay, the last one, you guys. I'm sure you can see it beside me. It is the biggest one that I bought, and oh my gosh, I really, really am happy with it. Okay, oh, it's heavy. So this is my San Pedro cactus, I believe. It's a Trichocereus paco paconioi. Oh gosh, paconoi. Paconoi? Trichocereus paconoi also known as the San Pedro cactus. And this is like a very kind of classic iconic cactus that you see online a lot. Um, they can grow very tall. They are very beautiful. There is three of them in this pot and I just love like the deep green color. And then they have the light spikes as well. But oh my goodness, I just like, I just can't wait to see this thing grow. It's so rewarding seeing cactus grow especially. And this year I really, really plan to just take really good care of them and i'm probably gonna grow most of them out on my deck for the summer so i just hope that we can get a really good growth season out of them but yes um this is what he looks like like he's very large and they all all three of them look really great um so they actually sell them for 35 dollars per column so it was a hundred and five dollars for this pot of three of them oh my wrist just cracked oh my gosh maybe i should put him down um i'll try to show you close up just quickly he is just so beautiful so now as for bigger cat cactus and euphorbia i have um, my spiral cactus my euphorbia amic variegata and now i have the san pedro so I've got like a few bigger ones now, which is really exciting. Oh yeah, and I have my giant Euphorbia that's at Shane's house too. That thing is like honestly almost as tall as me now. It's huge. I cannot wait to show you guys. But yeah, I'm really happy with all of the plants that I got and I'll quickly show you. I just got some pots just like quickly. Um, so I've been really into terracotta, but like kind of different terracotta, different from just like the standard pot. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, so I got this one. I really like that it's just kind of like wider and then has a smaller lip here. It's just something a little bit different. And then I also got the smaller size of that same one. And their pottery was also really reasonably priced. And then, oh, I got an even smaller <laughs> of like the same style. Apparently I really was digging this style. It's very cute though. And then I got just like one gray one. Now I'm really drawn to these gray terracotta pots whenever I see them and while I was there I was wondering like is it weird if I have mostly like all the classic orange terracotta and then I have some gray mixed in there um, and Shane and I were talking about it and he was like I don't think it's weird like you want you want your style to be like more eclectic anyways and I was like 
yeah you're right so i got one to like try it out and see how it looks and see if i like it but yes that is everything that i got i honestly wish i would have picked up some soil while i was there he even asked me and i don't know why i said no i just like wasn't really thinking and then we left and i was like I should have got some soil but um i'll pick some up next time for now i will just figure out my own cactus mix but i probably won't be repotting these guys right away anyways just because i'm gonna be moving and getting settled and um yeah but but that is pretty much it you guys leave me a like a comment down below a subscribe for more planty content let me know if you are into cactus and succulents at all i know it's like even more of a niche thing and not everybody is into it but yeah i would love to chat with you and thank you so much for watching this video i will see you guys in the next one bye